Earlier this year, we very suddenly lost our two-year-old son, and uh, you know he woke up with a low-grade fever, and, and he was okay. We put him down for a nap, just like every day, and we never saw him alive again. And almost four months later, we got the final results, letting us know that he had died from influenza B. And even though he'd been vaccinated, of course, we know that vaccines aren't 100%, and they work the best when more people participate. And uh, unfortunately, his body didn't develop immunity to the flu the way that we would have hoped from his shot. Um, and, and so we lost him. But what we're hoping is that if we get out and talk about it, then maybe this year, more people will get their flu shots or, and more people will consider staying home when they're sick. And I think we just sometimes don't realize how serious the flu can be and how quickly it can pass to someone just around us. It's really simple for me on why I get the flu shot. I get the flu shot because I have two daughters. I get the flu shot for my spouse. I get the flu shot for the colleagues that I work with each and every day. I get the flu shot for everybody I shake a hand of. I get the flu shot for you. That's why we're here today. It's about your health. I'm the father of 10-year-old uh, twin boys, and I have been so inspired by Jill's story and what she's doing, her advocacy, her courage, her commitment, her dedication to making sure that everybody gets the flu shot. So why is the chief of police here getting her flu shot? Because the police focus on a safer community, but we also focus on healthy communities. So as a member, as a police leader, and as a police officer, I have daily contacts with people. So I'm getting a flu shot this year, like every year, to prevent myself from getting sick as well as others. This vaccination is going to keep others healthy and safe. The groups of people who are at the highest risk of being severely affected by the flu include young children under the age of five, pregnant women, the elderly, and those with chronic health conditions such as heart and lung diseases. That was well done. Thank you. <laughs> you sure you weren't a doctor or a nurse in another yeah. life? <laughs> it's important to get the flu shot every year because the circulating viruses can change and the flu vaccine contains three or four strains to get a broad range of protection. We've made it easy, we've made it free. I'm really, really proud as an Ontarian of the great work that our public health units do. The flu vaccine is readily available throughout the region of Peel at no cost and can be found at your doctor's office and walk-in clinics for everyone six months of age and older and at pharmacies for people five years and older. We're really grateful that people are willing to, to let us get out and talk about him and hopefully by hearing his story people will think more about what they can do to help prevent other families from going through something like this.